Yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ, coming to you live with episode two of Bullets and Blues uh, playthrough with Bree Easy, shaking the hive. We ready to uh, do... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Yes, ma'am! It's your girl, Bree Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Salon, BKA, the People's Champ, and Jay, you have got to stop leaving me out. Okay, I'm going to stop, I'm gonna stop leaving you out, ma'am. But check it out, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Bullets and Blue, uh, Blues and Bullets playthrough, episode two, Shaking the Hive, where you get another chance to win yourself a copy of the game. All you gotta do, we gotta reach 500 likes, and what we gonna say? What they gotta put in that bar, bars, nigga? No. Oh. Well, well, on part two. Yeah, this yes. is part two. Okay, so part two, um, bars, 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 so three, three times. times. Yeah. So and, and the last bars gotta have more age than the second one, <laughs> and the first one. So so the, it's B A R S B A R S, and then B A, and then you can have as many A's in that. It just gotta be more than so it can be like eight bars or ten bars or. Like Bridget, like 16 See, bars. Oh. Don't, I'm don't, stop. Ready to roll. Stop. Stop. stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> I love you, but stop Y'all, y'all want to hear these anyway, bars one day. Not going to hear these bars. If y'all want to hear the bars, say we want to hear them bars down there. That counts too. But anyway, we about to get started with this, man. Hope you guys enjoy it as much as we enjoy it. And as much as we enjoy it, the very first uh, episode. And without further ado, don't. Let's get it. Let's get it, let's get it now. Let's get it, let's get it now. What is it, scene? Can you check scene it out? Scene one, do some he, bullets. Yeah, I don't think he can do nothing else, so. Yep, hit it. Let's get it, let's get it now. Let's get it, let's Previously get it now. Previously on Blues and Bullets. Do I know you from someplace? Me? No. But you do know my boss. You should be rotting in jail. Look, Ness. My granddaughter Sophia has been kidnapped. And I thought I was the only one who still hated you after 20 years. What else have you got? I don't give a damn what happens to me, Ness. You just save Sophia. I'll do it. Not for you. For her. Carlo Baccarini. Biggest forger in Santa Esperanza. Is that our man? We have to find out who did this and why. Let's go. You're Osmond Burke, right? Who wrote this note? Uh, Nikolai Ivankov. Calm down, Burke. You were going to meet up with him, right? It's going to be tonight. Did they find those kids? No. How do I look? Like the invisible man in the movie. <laughs> no one's gonna buy it. I'm Osmond Burke, and I have an appointment with your boss. And all that brings us up to right now, ladies and gentlemen. So if you're watching on YouTube... Brizzy and I are undoubtedly streaming some game right now if it's after 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on a weekday on Twitch right now. So check that. Check us out right now. Twitch.tv slash Easy. But right now, you good? Yeah. I have to reboot something. You had to reboot it? Okay. But anyway, you know, until then, let's enjoy Bullets and Blues. Okay. While this comes in, let's talk about where we are, where we are to right now. How do you, how do you like the game? Oh, and I'm, I'm loving the game. I am loving that it's a mystery that we're trying to solve. Mystery, murder, however you want to put it. And I'm loving the uh, relationship between Ness and Milton. Right. Let me do something right quick, guys. Hopefully it don't lock the game. And it did. But it's all good. It's all good. Hit resume. There we go. We're back. I just like to see what my CPU usage is. That's all. Okay. I'm really liking the game too. This is one of the games that I've been telling everybody about that we were going to play through for so long and everybody's been so patient with us. Uh, since Christmas, I've been talking about playing oh, really? through this. Yeah. Oh, okay. And we just never got the time. And I figured since, because of the style game it is, it'll be the perfect game to play through with you. You know, gotcha. so. <laughs> I 
make sure you don't have no no v neck on. Dog, we need you to have a turtleneck on like Milton. I'm not wearing no turtleneck <laughs> on this ah. 90 degree day. Oh my God, ain't it? Well, better than People a 40 chat, degree what day. What's the weather like? We're kind of, it's like hot and then it rains and then it goes back to being hot. What's the weather like where you guys are? I know, right? Yeah. Boom. Had to tell is everybody. This updated? Huh? Is this updated? Is what updated? The stream. Yeah. It, okay. it says bullets and blues with Bree, right? Okay. All right, we in here. So it's really not anymore. Okay. So we're at 84 okay. viewers right now. All right, so let's see. See what we got to go. Because undoubtedly some time has passed, right, since they went on yeah, the sub. Yeah, because last time we went on the sub, Marie, we don't know what happened on there. Left, left side. Come inside if you like. It's about five minutes in. So Strange tent for Christmas week. The hell? This is that real young, don't it? I know, right? Here, I'm waiting. Don't be shy. Mm-hmm. I ain't shy, but that little viral voice got me kind of shook, baby. I ain't gonna lie. What you think? Is it Miss Cleo? It is Miss Cleo. Tell your she fortune, know who the father of the baby is? Man. I don't think it'll be good, but go ahead. Oh, I see success at work. Very soon. Probably the last in a long time. That's enough for me. You just made my day. Hmm. In that case, I'd better not tell you how the affair with that married woman is going to go. What? How do you know? It's better if I don't tell you. And that's all we're going to talk. For now. You may leave now. I feel someone is waiting for you. I think she's lying, but I can't see through that damn bone mustache. But this is definitely when he was younger. Oh, that was intense. Oh, okay. So, sidebar, guys. I have a question about mustaches. So, I was getting my hair done yesterday, and, you know, my stylist was just talking about... You can talk about it while you want. Uh, my stylist was just talking about um, it was this lady there. She's gorgeous. Uh, she makes a lot of money, but she has a mustache. And, you know, us women, we like to keep that clean. So Everyone's so excited about the new waterfront. She was like, you know, It'll attract um, the tourists. Why don't you we'll bring new life to Santa Esperanza. <laughs> but if we don't get Capone, he'll make sure that it will only bring more death. Let this part, part go. All right, go ahead. Okay, and then she says she don't cut her mustache off because the men that she date, but says it is a turn on. So for the guys, have you ever seen a female with a mustache and you was turned on by that? To me, that's just like. Wrong. That's wrong on so many levels. Right about that. I mean, because making good mustache, I'm glad she finally got rid of it. When she was younger, of course, on Cousin Skeeter. But, uh, you know. He ain't got no bars, man. Hank Sorensen? Do I know you? Binary said negative. I've heard a lot about exactly. you and your establishment. Oh, good, I hope. The tipsy That's mermaid is famous for its hospitality, crazy. charm, like, yeah, and respect for like the law. Turned on by her mustache. That's like, I guess. But anyway, back to the game. Really? In that case, I was misinformed. If you like, you can take a seat and see for yourself. But make it quick. In less than ten minutes, this place will be crawling with customers who are a lot less discerning than yourself. What's going on here? Oh, you ain't gonna let me in? <laughs> Serena has a mustache? <laughs> Serena got a mustache? Maybe he's saying if Serena had a mustache. Oh, 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 maybe talking about the muscles. The muscles. Oh, okay. Oh, he said I don't want to have no muscles. I'm gonna muscles. buy something. Yeah, it better be something for Delphine or Claire. Let me keep on walking. I ain't talking to you anymore. Just go. CC Pinson. You know it. You can't go in there, you gotta go the other way. He's still standing in the door. 
Let me see. 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 To the right. Babe, I can't go no more. Yes, you can go that way to the right. You're going to the left. Anyway, he's um the way that I figure it is that he's uh this is when he wasn't when he was a cop. Mm -hmm. So it had to be at least twenty years, right? Need a big red A on your damn chest. That's what you need. Hey there. So he lied. Shall we walk? I hope someday we can walk arm in arm. Was it hard to get away? Not really. I told Martha I had to check out a tip-off. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's true. That's exactly what Jim told me. On Strawberry Avenue, right? I left him in charge. It's a routine check. I'm sure it's nothing. At the most, some kind of abandoned bootlegger still. O'Reilly and DiPietro are with him. Even Garrison joined them to stretch his oh, legs oh, oh, and take a break oh, from the leads in the accounting book. Are you certain there's no danger? I'm not certain of anything anymore. But I had to see you. These last months haven't been easy. We barely see each other. We're drifting apart and... I can't allow this to end badly. This isn't right. The fuck is going in badly? If we go on, I'm gonna end up hating you. I think I already do. Almost as much as I hate myself. Delphine. Goddamn fish! Before, I had you as a way of escaping from random. Jim. But since you began this crusade against alcohol... Against Capone. Damn you to hell, Satan! <laughs> Ever since random. you dragged Jim into these untouchables of yours... Jim Dockers is the best cop in Santa Esperanza, and the most honest. You sent him out on a raid so you could see his wife, Elliot. How can you look him in the face after that? I'll tear out your liver, you unholy abomination. Damn right! Mm. Love or professionalism? Which one are we going? She went with professionalism. I know how to keep love and work separate, Delphine. When I'm with him, he only talks about you, and, and now you only talk about him? It was you who... You! You screwed everything up. Can't you see that? I'll rip your scales out one by one with my fucking teeth! <laughs> <laughs> Forgiveness, justify. That wasn't my intention, Delphine. I, I'm sorry. You don't have to be. There's nothing to be done. It's over, Elliot. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna cut you up and oh, just God. chop you in a little... <laughs> Will you shut up? We're having a conversation. No, I'm not gonna oh, shut up until I'm landing that son of a bitch. <laughs> Do you want a Christmas punch in the square? Come on. <laughs> I'm serious. When I cast the line, the hook got caught round the back in my pants. No! <laughs> <laughs> Just on the seam. You know where. Ripped it right open. <laughs> Tell me there was no one behind you. Well, of course there was. The girl I was trying to impress. And her father. And the rest of her family. <laughs> Imagine the scene. There I was, shorts on display. What can I get for the happy couple? Two glasses of Christmas punch, please. Coming right up. With or without alcohol. Um... You gonna threaten him or ignore him? We're gonna ignore him. Without. 
please. Well, of course. Besides, we don't serve alcohol here. No siree. At the Tipsy Mermaid, we have the greatest respect for the law. Did he just something? No, he said with or without alcohol. I think Jim suspects something. That's Elliot Ness. Yeah, I know. He's the number one person against alcohol in the whole right. U.S. or well, Chicago at that time. What you think? Yeah, when all said and done, he is a cop. Elliot, we have to stop seeing each other. It won't be such a big change. <sighs> really, I think it's best if we break it off. Jim needs me, your priority is your work, and I don't see any other way. Break it off! Break it off! What are we gonna do? Wait? Run? No, no, break it You're right. It's best if we just break it off, as if we never loved each other. Break it off. Uh. And Elliot, that's first don't class. Be like that. What are we gonna do? Cynical, angry, resigned. I'm not being like anything. You give me hell about choosing my profession first, and it's true. You've chosen your husband. At least let me give you hell about it. But it's not just because of Jim. Don't forget I have a daughter. You know, I never forget that. What about your marriage? Why don't you give it a chance? Martha's parents are coming on Friday. They are. To take her back to Greenville. Oh, I, um, didn't know that. Ah, what do I care? Her loss. I don't know you anymore, Elliot. You really are untouchable. And I am Jim Docker's wife. Besides, if I want to study medicine, I'm gonna need time. I can't steal it from my family. I know, and I support you, but... Two glasses of Christmas punch for the happy couple. The fuzz really screwed up this time, huh? What do you mean? Can't you hear the sirens? On the radio, they're saying four cops got pumped full of lead. Not that I'm glad to hear it, of course. Where? On Strawberry Avenue, I think. No. No, no, no! Jim! Wait! What? We can't show up together. I'll see you later. Oh my god. Jim. Now if that ain't, if that ain't some fracker knackle. What, what was the dude in the bar? King, um, King David bullshit. I'll pay for it. Put that man on the front line and send him to his death so you can have his wife. That's some bullshit. Do you think that's what he really did? It looks oh, like him. someone said yeah. something they shouldn't uh -huh. have. Whiskey. A bottle. Now. Uh, we don't serve alcohol here, sir. At the Tipsy Mermaid, we have the greatest respect for the law. You took delivery of 12 cases on Wednesday night. Bring me a bottle or I'll make sure you rot in jail for the rest of your sorry little life. One bottle of whiskey coming right up. Ha ha ha! Garrison. O'Reilly. DiPietro. So this takes us back to, the, to episode one. Mm -hmm. Dockers. Why he was doing that. Why he was saying it and where he got the bottle from. If you haven't seen episode one, go back and watch episode uh, one. I mean, this is, this is a really good series, man. Garrison. I'm going to be taking a hit every time you say their name, man. Riley. Damn! Damn! De Pietro. Damn! <laughs> Dockers. So he might not have done it intentionally, but it's just like what King David did, right? Yeah. He just said, so gay, sus. <laughs> hey, 
Come here, he asked me if he gonna hit that Bill Cosby. Y'all sick, man. You supposed to pour that out, ain't you? But we don't know what they did back in the day. The gangsters poured out. I don't know what the cops did. I, I think they know what drink. I know, right? <laughs> pour out some liquor and I reminisce. But if you want to be technical, he did pour it out. He poured it out right in his stomach, so, you know, it is what it is. So we're back on the submarine? I oh, believe no. so. Yeah. Wherever this stops, I guess this is when, you know. Yeah, okay. Wherever it stops, we're going to stop the video and then we'll That's start. That's Chicago, so back on the boat. Yep, we're back on the sub. You already knew it. Fast forward to the modern times, baby. We in here. Let me take us out of here, though, this fly-through. These fly-throughs are so gangster, man. So gangster. I hope we ain't supposed to be remembering how to get out. Because I damn sure don't. What kind of gangster got a damn sub? Who can afford this shit? I know, right? Oh, well. <laughs> the fucking Negro. Here we go with this shit again. You know it's one you better pick too. Theseus is my bodyguard, and he's a you good one. Damn, I'm gonna I always choose play. the best, especially when I'm traveling with a heavy load. Jesus Christ, Bert. you're a mess. This time Delighted I finally get to meet the star of the newsreels. Although I won't be able to say I saw your face. Will you be like that for long? I know. Um, yeah, we go. The doctor doesn't dare give me a date. I have to see him every 15 days. Every 15 days? Is he your doctor or your mistress? <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to leave it right here. That's going to be episode one um, of episode two. So we're going to leave it right here, and then we'll continue on with it. Uh, we just got to stop the video. If you're on Twitch, stay right here. We're going to keep on streaming. But if you're watching it on YouTube, it's going to pass through to the next episode. Um, if you didn't win the game, if you didn't get, a, if you didn't take your chance on this video to win the game, go watch the very first episode, and you get a chance to win that one. And, um, you know, like I said, 500 likes on this video, and you got to say bars, bars, bars in this yep. video. Bars, bars, bars. And that third bar's got to have more A's. Or say something about Bridget Hell, how nice it is. So bleak. So cool. I don't know what the fleek is. I, I don't really know. don't. I don't know. Okay. Or, or tell us what fleek is, and then we'll be good. <laughs> but anyway, we out of here. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! And you very Brick Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Salon, BK the People's Champion. I done told you about that, Jay. Stop leaving right. me out. 360 out this mug. Now...